Alan Miles here. We're going to do a tutorial on chopping up a drum break. I'm going to choose uh, the Amen break for mine. So, new project. I like to si save my project straight away. Um, I like folder option. Collect all your assets together, especially the EXS instruments and samples in that dialog there. Then go to the media project using that icon. Project area. Audio file. Add audio file. Look for your... Um, drum break and then add it to the project and drag it into the arrange page make sure you've butted it all the way up against the far left get rid of the media project look I've got it selected there that's the difference between selected and unselected so whilst it's selected I'm going to put set locators by loc uh, set locators by selection in the navigate dialog and then I'm going to listen to it to see if it's um, a nice loop. It's looping nicely. And I'll also count it out. It was two bars then. So I'm going to stretch the cycle point to two bars exactly. And whilst that WAV's selected, look, I'm going to tell Logic in Edit that the tempo, adjust the tempo using region length and locators. So I've told Logic that it's two bars long with the cycle point and uh, it's going to change it. I'm going to choose globally to change the global BPM. And now it's looping correctly. Lost the BPM 138.8274. So in my command click tool, which is up there, I'm going to select scissors. So I've got the pointer and the scissors. When I press command, the scissors will appear. Here we go. And... Uh, I can also, when I select Alt, a little plus sign will appear and I can chop them all in equal slices when I hold Alt. 16 slices there. Right click, convert to new sampler track. And then I'm going to do it to the regions that I've cut up. So it's going to cut up this into regions and spread them across a keyboard. If I chose transient markers it would chop at every single little transient spike but uh, for this scenario i'm going to use regions name your sampler instrument now aim and break chop and i'm going to spread it across the keyboard from c0 all the way upwards so regions what it does it mutes the original audio and lays down a midi slice that's triggering those slices in an exs instrument on the mixer page look so now those slices are all in individual hit points spread across the keyboard from C0 to D sharp 1. I could play it via the keyboard. You can just hear the each slice. So that's all, each slice in succession. And I can move them around and reorder them at will. I mean, I might spend a bit more time creatively doing this than I will in front of you, but there you are, that's showing you that you can move things around and reorder these slices. Useful sampler function. Oh, that's not a nice one. So I can move it to one that I like. There you go. It's not quite sounding um, jump up like it used to back in the day. So I want to change the um, the pitch of this. So I'm going to select edit and it takes you into the sampler edit window. Quite confusing at first, but don't worry about that. I'm going to select the top one. Each one of these um, slices is spread across the keyboard. Look, shows you which ones are being triggered as well. So I'm going to select the top one and then shift and select the bottom one, so it selects them all. I'm going to bring up the coarse tuning, three semitones, Let every single one of those slices up three semitones. I'm going to change the BPM to 164 BPM, and it'll sound a lot more jump up than it did previously. Nice. Do a save, save the sampler instrument. It always asks you to do that before you uh, shut that little edit window. And now I can have some fun by reordering the MIDI um, in randomize. So select functions, MIDI transform, randomize pitch, 
randomised from C0, where your first slice started, as far as D-sharp 1 was the highest slice, wasn't it? There you go, and then select and operate, and it reorders the slices again for you, but it randomises it this time. And just keep pressing to hear some that you vaguely like, and then you can go in and edit it more finitely. Doesn't always sound great, but... I'm just going to um, randomise. I can work with something like that, and then uh, I can edit them separately myself. Look. I can also zoom in and I can start to edit the MIDI a little more finitely, can't I? And uh, for example, I could repeat beginning parts of samples, change the velocity. If you don't see that window, you can drag it up from the bottom of the piano edit page like that. Select velocity in your controller window. It brings up the velocity spikes. Sometimes a bit awkward to um, edit these, so bear with it. I'm going to get it to write a line. And there it is. Great. There we go. And get a stepped up. And you can start creating effects like that. <laughs> 